On tonight's episode, we talk about Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. And other pop culture news from the week. We just got back from the theater where we saw Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, mm -hmm. the sequel to Aquaman. Uh, and uh, suddenly, the last movie of the DCU, uh, actually DCEU, they had... They making mm. that difference because DCU is gonna be James Gunn's DC, uh, and we have the DCU that traditionally was the Snyderverse, the Zack Snyder uh, vision for the DC uh, universe. And so this movie starring Jason Momoa, Tamara Morrison, Nicole Kidman, Amber Heard, uh, mm. what's the name? Patrick Wilson, mm -hmm. uh, T. Haj, I can't remember his name. The, the bad guy, uh, mm -hmm. Abidu, Akain Abidu. I can't remember. Anyways, uh, who I else? Look that up. Surprisingly, uh, Martin Short. Mm -hmm. Dolph Lundgren. D oh, Dolph Lundgren came How back. How did you forget? Yeah. And uh, the voice of John Rice Davis. Yes. Uh, sir. Is he a sir? He should be a sir. He should be. He should He's be a just sir. such a delightful human yeah. being. He deserves a couple um, honorifics. Uh, and Rondo Park. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and many more. Yeah. Uh, um, and following up the, the, the first movie, this movie was uh, started by, uh, it's directed by James Wan. Mm -hmm. uh, this movie was started before the rise of uh, James Gunn. But as soon as mm -hmm. James Gunn took over, he cut it, things everywhere, you know, the flash. And even though when it failed, he didn't take the blame. He didn't, he didn't, oh, no, 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 it wasn't me. But right. on this one, for instance, there was a scene with Batman, Ben Affleck, uh, which got everybody excited because everybody loves Ben Affleck. Everybody loves his Batman. Mm -hmm. And anyways, it, it was cut. But as it was, because of the cut, because of, I guess, some, some, some other cuts or adjustments, this one is completely independent uh, of the rest of the DC universe. Mm -hmm. It's... Um, it's a solo story, it remains solo, and uh, it connects to the first movie, but it, it doesn't connect to, to the rest yeah. of the universe, even though it's a global story, affects the entire mm -hmm. planet, and, but, but let's talk about our impressions. So, I went into this with extremely low expectations. As low one, as the bottom of the ocean? I mean, maybe not that <laughs> low, but like, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. The last couple DC films have not blown me away. The first Aquaman was like, it was fun. It was pretty good, but it wasn't like, whoa. Anyway, so again, low expectations. I enjoyed it, despite... Prejudice, some... because the guy talks to fish. Yeah, that that was it. Had nothing to do with DC's other problems. Um, despite some really clumsy lines, some, some awkward writing, overall, I really enjoyed it. It was a solid superhero movie. We had some, you know, high stakes and good, like, core values and, you know, the, and, and fun effects. Although not entirely as well executed as one would hope. Um, it, with the caveat that it is a big challenge to, you know, make a whole film look like you were under the ocean. Um, there was a, a lot of the fun stuff. A lot of the stuff I liked was stuff we've seen before in other movies. Um, like I'll just a lot have of some heavily have some lines, some visual references. Have have, have visual references. Yeah, from things that everybody loves. So it's like yeah. nobody's gonna complain. That, oh, this looks like Lord of the Rings. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> everybody yeah. loves Lord of the I'm Rings. Not complaining per se. <laughs> did I joke about it obnoxiously in the theater? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, and will continue to do so. Um, so overall, not bad. Very enjoyable. Pleasant way to pass a couple hours over your Christmas break. Um, but, but definitely not without its issues. Yeah, it's not perfect. It has issues. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's definitely a very good sequel, considering that yeah. sequels always drop the ball, uh, uh, uh inferior to, to uh, the predecessor. Mm -hmm. This one, it follows up really well. It actually builds up on, on elements of, as you've seen on the trailer, uh, Patrick mm -hmm. Wilson, there was a bad guy on the original, comes back at this one, uh, mm -hmm. And that they handled sorta, really well. For me, that sorta was a plus. Sort of ambiguous uh, uh, in so many moments, uh, getting redemption or not. Whatever they did, they did 
that really well uh, which was kind of that's why it kind of said uh, to to see the the this UN because it ended it ended th this movie it ended on a high note you know uh, uh, it, it, we, we could have more we could see more of Aquaman mm -hmm. in, in different adventures and and that would be uh, fun that would be fine different than I don't know maybe the flash it ended so poorly that's yeah. like yeah whatever we was like yeah that enough done anyways yeah uh, so this one has some some uh, things uh, worth mentioning uh, including Amber Heard that was announced that she would be cut from the movie she'd have she minimally minimally on the movie yeah she's minimally on the movie but it seemed like it was part of the story it feels like a lot for someone who's supposed to be in there and it was actually a, a lot if she was more it should be like <laughs> on screen all the time yeah who knows maybe that was the case she was she was a, a, a mm -hmm. it was like a couple movie on the first one she was it always was, there yeah. with him and this one was a different dynamic was a a buddy uh, uh type buddy cop type of comedy uh mm -hmm. type of movie mm -hmm. uh and we had uh, the two brothers uh jason memore Ar arthur curry aquaman mm -hmm. And uh, Patrick Wilson, uh, or an ocean master. Yeah. Uh, they work together. They have mm -hmm. their differences, uh, and it it worked. They both mm -hmm. they both talented actors, and mm -hmm. I guess uh, Momoa had had more opportunities to shine. As Jason Momoa, I would assume that that has a lot of his. Including the fact that he, he yeah. collaborated on writing. He did. So I would assume that like, there's a scene he's driving a motorcycle, like Aquaman driving a motorcycle. Come on, that's Jason Momoa. That's yeah. not Aquaman. Yeah, you said they're both good actors. I'm not entirely convinced Jason Momoa was acting in this. Um, he looked, I followed him on Instagram for a while. Based on what I saw there, what I saw here, he just showed up to set. Like right. he was just <laughs> Jason Momoa being Jason Momoa. Um, like yeah yeah the motorcycle yeah. Um, at one point like he you see him wearing like a pink scrunchie oh, yeah, yeah. it's the pink scrunchie he has on his wrist all the time <laughs> like his his jewelry his clothes his hair like every, it's like no he was just being Jason Momoa <laughs> and at one point put on Aquaman's armor which I have to say I really love how they did Aquaman's armor I know they did, this was from the first movie but like every time there was a close up I was like dang that. This, this suit could have been so dumb and so cheesy. Right. Like everything yeah. else about Aquaman. Like yeah. this could be so cheesy. But they made it look but it so works. cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. They did a great job with it. So, yeah. Good actor or did he just find a way to just be himself? <laughs> Either way, it was very fun to watch. So there's a there's a threat to the planet uh, uh, mm -hmm. because of the bad guy who wants to use whatever he can to destroy uh, Aquaman. And, and the that brings up a even big even bigger threat to the entire planet mm -hmm. and and uh they they trace parallels with that to to global warming to climate uh uh, uh, uh climate issues caused by by humans uh which is fine the the a villain destroying the world is not new uh but there, there's some issues on arriving when they talk about it. it's like oh green greenhouse gases and and the pollutions and oh you're gonna destroy the world oh humans are already doing that it's kind of a little bit pushy but again uh, uh, yeah as, as mentioned there's there's problems in the writing and it's kind of yeah, like it felt, it felt clumsy it's kind of distracting because uh, uh villains want to destroy the world and heroes want to save the world and pretty much every heroic story uh you don't have to come up with explanations uh, to to link to agendas or, or whatever mm -hmm. so i thought it was like that was like a little bit of like eh, okay yeah. but here they could have taken a page from star trek um using like a little bit more ele elegant language metaphorically and, doing yeah, it, yeah like cloaking i'm not cloaking cloaking's not the right word but like taking the the present day issue and you know wrapping it up nicely in a story with some different terms taking away like removing the politicized language and the familiar terms that we get hit with every day mm -hmm. and you know wrapping it up in a nice story i think i think that would have been so much more impactful yeah um because yeah. then you watch the story and you see the impact and then you come back to real life and you're like oh wait a minute i thought at least yeah. that's what star trek has done for me and many yeah. others so and it's like, it's like uh, there were ways to do this and it, it was just clumsy 
because uh, because a uh, good storytellers, good artists do do to tell uh, or teach or even mm -hmm. preach uh, through metaphors, and, and and of course there's some mediocre that do to weak metaphors, and in in this case they didn't do metaphors, they actually explain, they teach you, they preach you, and nobody yeah. no, nobody likes that, nobody wants that. Uh, so. Uh, and it wasn't terrible, but I feel like it could have been so much yeah, better. Yeah, it, it took away. I mean, mm. it, it, was, it was like because the movie has several problems that added to the problems yeah. when it could be something that would not add and help the movie. Uh, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, there's there's kind fishes, of, there's water, mm -hmm. there's there's a baby. Mm -hmm. Funny, cute baby mm -hmm. that pees. And yes, yes. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Um, when you I still think that's a joke. Does it really, does, does it really yes. happen? Little they boys, go up it, yes. with that intensity? It does happen, which is okay. why as you remove the diaper, you either throw another diaper or like a wipe or something over it. Like, you just, you always leave the guy covered because but they the will are, just like... But they, you're cleaning the baby because it pee, it, he peed. So yeah. he's going to pee right away again? Oh, don't underestimate the capacity of the infant <laughs> bladder. <laughs> With, cause, cause I've had the same problem with little girls, but like they, they just, I mean, we don't need to they talk a whole lot right about there. anatomy, but yeah. just the way human anatomy works with little boys, it's a little bit more of a fountain. Oh, yeah. Um, it's more of a projectile quality. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We had we, we noticed the the absence of uh, William Defoe, and there's a, yeah. and he's mentioned in the story. Mm -hmm. He's explained what happened. Um, uh, visual references to Lord of the Rings, as we mentioned, of course, uh, uh, there's there's some yeah. there's some similar to uh, World of Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, uh, Warcraft franchise, mm -hmm. uh, Frozen King and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> to the point, like, movie... I feel like the references were heavy enough that it there were lots of moments that like broke that suspension of disbelief. You know, that, like, kind of broke the immersion for me, if that makes sense. Like, like yeah, I'm here. I'm with Aquaman. Oh, nope. That's Minas Mortal. <laughs> okay, no. Now I'm yeah, back in. And well, like, oh, nope. That's... Anyway. Yeah. I uh, mean, I mean, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, sure. There's a, there's a, uh, that, that reference because, mm -hmm. I mean, it, they use the books. And, of course, there's the reference of pop culture mm -hmm. <clears throat> and entertainment from, from, from Lord of the Rings. Uh, in specifically, and Dark Lord, which is like Darth yeah. Vader, the, the, does that. Star Wars does that. So, you know, you you, like like you, a, you drink yeah. from 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 good uh, uh, fountains. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's definitely a language of of but myth, if, I guess, and like mythic tropes and archetypes and all that. But yeah. this is a little on the nose. It wasn't like, you know, how like in Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, you have cloaked black figures. Like this was like, no, that's the set. Like that looks the same. It, it wasn't looked, exactly right, the same. Realized, yeah. It was, yeah. It was a little but much. but if anything, there's a lot more uh, respect for the char character's lore, uh, mm -hmm. Atlantis, mm -hmm. and all, all the what they what they mean. Mm -hmm. uh, even though there's some changes, uh, but you know, in, in opposition to what Marvel did with the Atlantis, they call it something else. They have something completely different origin and, and how how they live and what they do and their motivations in this one at least they stuck they stick to the to the source material and it's close enough mm -hmm. to to yeah to appease a uh, fans and 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 and, uh, and to make sense to uh the general knowledge or the general mm -hmm. belief of what atlantis is mm -hmm. and yeah no, it was. It, I I thought it was. I thought it was good. It was. It was a good yeah. job. Uh, again, sadly, is is the last one. There's rumors that Momo will be back with James Gunn's DC, but he will be back as Lobo, which oh, that's which right. he fits. Um, which would be really, another role really that's well. just like Jason Momoa shows up yeah. to work, but just a little more. I wonder if they're gonna make angry. him white. Because Lobo is an right. alien. Lobo is. is super super white. Yeah. He's, he's a he's a Kizarnian, uh, and his race is 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 not is not white skin. It's like well, how how we call that instead of white mm. is like paper white. It's a it's a. Oh yeah, not not white like Caucasian like it's like, like actually uh, like bright white. Yeah. What well, it's not bright, but it's. 
Uh, no, but like if you were picking out paint chips, it would be like oh, okay, it's yeah, like calcium, bright white calcium, versus versus right. eggshell or yeah, accru. It's like uh, uh, as a coating in George Constanza, uh, as different than white with a pinkish hue. Mm. He's like white, white, white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but he does have black hair and yeah. and, and f- uh, face hair, mm-hmm. hair face, facial hair, facial hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else about the movie that we can we can go through without uh, spoiling? I feel like it pretty well covered it. It does feel like comic books. And I I did feel that way after the first one, too. These two movies really feel like, oh, yeah. They really lean into some of the cheesy stuff about Aquaman, and I appreciate that. Like, this one, we see his his gigantic seahorse. Oh, yes. And, like, he he jokes about how he's like, yeah, I talk to fish. And some people think that's dorky. Yeah. But I think it's cool. And and I appreciate that. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> We're not going to try to convince anybody that this is something it's not. We know it's cheesy. We know this looks yeah. kind of goofy. And we're going to roll with it because it's fun. Yeah. Um, no, and I feel like that that was successfully done. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's... The character is old and, and, and loved. And he goes to, to like, moments and dark moments. He's a king. And he has mm-hmm. to deal with that. And he's a family man. He has a wife and kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, they go through all that in the movie and then family there's there's a lot about family uh, and even at the end they have a very touch moment about about family that mm-hmm. I, I I didn't expect them to go there even though uh, it was it was sort of hinted throughout the movie but they mm-hmm. did and they did really well anyways yeah. uh, Aquaman uh, the lost kingdom mm-hmm. it's uh, it's out in the theaters everywhere uh, you should go see it if you like DC characters, if you like yeah. Atlantis mythology, sort of, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, comic books and heroes. And Momoa is, is great on it, and Patrick Wilson. Yeah, as there's well. a lot to enjoy. Yeah, uh, yeah. The music, I really like the music. It's mm. it, it's not super like wow. I want to download this soundtrack right away, mm-hmm. but it has some really good like oh this this is yeah. music this is good like dun, dun, some themes. They are uh, really good. Maybe maybe it's not one that you, after watching once you're gonna download. Maybe watch, watching a second time is like, hey, this music like now now it got me. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. Yeah, and beautifully done. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, visually beautifully done as well. Anyways, Aquaman, Lost Kingdom. Anything else? Nope. No. Okay. The rest is. Water under the bridge. Uh-huh. I mean, <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, under the sea. Under yes. the sea. Uh, I didn't see. Uh, one thing that I was, I was. Uh, there, there's a moment that they go to a specific place where Excuse I have you. a lot of characters, uh, known, uh, sort of, uh, uh, I wouldn't, bad characters, uh, repu- reputable, uh, questionable characters. Disreputable. Disreputable mm-hmm. with uh, questionable reputation characters. Yeah. Uh, I, I was like, since, since uh, what's his bucket? Uh, James Gunn is a big boss. They see now. I thought it was, we mm. would see Nanu, you know, oh, the King yeah. Shark there. Like yeah, uh, maybe yeah, just yeah. a cameo. No, it didn't. Uh, oh. Because because uh, that was Nanu from the DC. You mm-hmm. not James Gunn's Nanu. Right. So they didn't want to offer or help. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, Anyways, well. uh, let's get, you know, go see it. Yep, it's <clears> worth <throat> a watch. It's worth a watch. Do we want to talk about Retirement Plan? or? We did see Retirement Plan, mm-hmm. which is a Nicolas Cage movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the trailer was fun. The trailer looked so good. And the cast seems really promising, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the movie doesn't deliver. It doesn't, which is really... Yeah, it's, it's, very disappointing. it's very weak. It doesn't... Nobody shines. And and it's it's yeah it's very sad that we all that potential yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't deliver it's available on Hulu uh, mm-hmm. if you dare if you want to watch you gonna yeah. go and watch if you disagree with us let us know mm-hmm. why I I doubt it that that's gonna happen because we love everybody involved Nicholas Cage Jack Early, Early Ernie Hudson. Uh, Rowan Perlman, mm-hmm. uh, Ashley Green, uh, and the little girl that's brand new. Uh, we loved everybody, she but did a good job. Yeah, but the, but the, but it doesn't it quite doesn't. work. This way, my brother said we watch it with my brother, and he said, "Wow, 
they spent hundreds of dollars on these special effects. <laughs> and low production value does not a bad movie make. You can have low production value and a great cast and be fine. Or low production value and a great script. And I will like die on this hill if you don't have if you don't have good writing, it doesn't matter what else you have. The movie's not gonna be good, and this is a great example. Yeah, it so, is. It is. Don't it, worry about it. It has. It has I, I don't know if everybody can tell, but I, I have, I have this. It's. It's not even technically speaking. I guess it is a little bit technically speaking, but I have a few that when I watch a movie, it's like, oh, this was made for TV. This one right away, it was like, oh. Mm. Even how they put the put the credits on and some other things, and not saying that TV does bad, you know. We have HBO. We have great stuff for yeah. TV. Yeah, no, there's good stuff but out there. But this one is like, oh, okay. It's like, it's like, this guy gonna meet someone that came from big town, and she doesn't want romance, and he wants like, you know, Hallmark kind of movies. It, it, it yeah. Anyways, yeah. The what's the name of the the thing? Retirement plan. Retirement plan. The trailer's gonna get you super pumped. It's okay. Be Just let it go. warned. Yeah. It's on Hulu if you mm -hmm. want to watch. If you're there, if you have nothing else to watch, which is I doubt it. Yeah. You should go check. If you if you want if you are a purist that uh, watch every single thing that Nicolas Cage or one of the other guys do and want to watch for mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you go watch it. But be warned. Yeah. Okay. A murder at the end of the world. Uh, uh, FX show available mm -hmm. on Hulu. Hulu uh, FX on Hulu. Effect sex. I can't remember which one is, uh, but either way, I don't know. They, they both do it's great things. It's a series of a murder mystery, mm -hmm. as the name suggests. Yeah. Uh, the series finale was this past week. Mm -hmm. We saw it. Uh, some of my suspicions were confirmed, mm -hmm. but they did in a very clever, smart way. Yeah. That I was like, oh. They, they use the twist, I imagine, but there's like they, they twist a little more mm -hmm. and a little more and a little more and then stuck on it. It was yeah. good. There were a couple things at the in the finale that felt like they had sort of run out of time and so they <laughs> wrapped things up kind of quick um, in, in maybe ways that weren't totally believable. Yeah. That said, I feel like overall the whole series was very well written. It was a compelling mystery, interesting characters. Really good use of like flashbacks to you know overall yeah it was it was a good series um, good cast I I enjoyed it yeah and the uh, ending despite a couple of like this yeah there was oh, some, the ending some, overall some, was yeah, pretty good yeah there was some stuff there that uh, let me put it this way not spoiling is like uh, to start a fire it's not as simple a big fire it's not as simple yeah as, but anyways. Yeah, that that's really what <laughs> got like that that whole scene was like this yeah. great it's supposed to be this great triumphant moment, but it they it, it rush it yeah. and take it too far. Like, yeah, it shouldn't have happened that way. Anyways, uh, but that's murder. a small complaint overall. Great series. Yeah. A murder at the end of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's available full series. It's available uh, uh, Hulu. Mm -hmm. uh, that was kind of like a. Very, very, very soft, very distant hand. There might be more. I, I, I think, yeah. it, I think, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they did well in the first one, even though with the problems. I don't think they should do more. Because uh, the character mm. was 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 fun, was cool, was smart, was pretty, was uh, mm -hmm. uh, was likable. But uh, I don't know. Should you hold another season? Uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't think so. Anyways. Maybe I people, know. maybe people loved her way better, more than we did. I, I just think she was, she was good. She was okay, but not enough for more. Yeah. One, once and done. Yeah. Uh, if they do quit, another one, I'll totally watch quit, it. I guess we will. Yeah. Uh, no, we will. <laughs> but, uh, get, but quit, quit while should they? Probably not. It's okay. Quit while what are you saying? Quit, quit while, while you're ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm out, like George again. Second, yes. second reference. That's to it George. for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wonka is doing pretty okay. Yeah, is this is uh, uh, proving expectations? Uh, is is reaching expectations? Mm -hmm. uh, it did thirty nine million uh, for the box of mm -hmm. office opening weekend. Yeah, despite some pretty weak reviews right off the bat. You, if you want to know what we thought about it, you can 
watch last week's episode. We didn't think it was weak. We thought it was no. decent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was charming. Yeah. We recommend um, it. When we don't recommend it, we say, like, we just thought about retirement plan. Yeah. We say, if you're going to watch this, play with my own risk. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we, you should. Yeah. You do you, but just know you're wrong. Yeah. No, this one was charming. And so it's nice to see it um, have some, some success, especially because a lot of movies have had a, a rough year. Um, we saw a couple trailers. Yeah. Did you see any of the... Fi- was that a new trailer for Dune? I don't know, but yeah, it got me pumped. It wasn't, I don't know if yeah. it was new, but it was like, yes, I can't wait to see this movie. Like, yeah. 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 That's a Drakis, what's his name? A trade is Poe Uh-huh. And the planet like, is a No! Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, but I don't think there were any, like, new, like, movies or productions or anything. Uh, the tra- the trailers, I don't the think trailers. so. Yeah. I mean, it's the end of the year. There's some exciting mm. ones for, for, for next year. What was that one that there's in, in March or February? That was one that the... the the monkeys, now the monkeys are okay. Oh, yeah, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, the, new the, the, Godzilla, the Godzilla, and the Godzilla versus Kong, the new mm-hmm. Empire. But there was one that was like, oh, cool, March. I can't remember, was it? Honestly, I never remember the dates. Yeah, I just, but I'm busy judging the trailer, so yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. but we saw also trailers online, uh, mm-hmm. as they as they as they come, as they, they've been released. Uh, there's a trailer, it's actually a fake trailer. Mm-hmm. They use a lot of deep fake technology to mm-hmm. make characters speak what they what they want. It's a Home Alone three with Ke- Home Alone three, Kevin's Revenge. Yeah, yeah, and it's a fun concept, and I and I think what would make more sense is a Home Alone sequel. So it's a nice like what if. So the idea being that the what do they what do they call themselves the Wet Bandits? Yes. Yeah, they're finally released from prison. Send a threatening note to Kevin. Kevin booby traps the house again. Um, this time with more violence and uh, yeah. shenanigans ensue. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks fun. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a fun fun idea. And the other one, a real trailer, is a is a, is a more of a tease, teaser. Yeah. They're very short. Uh, it's called what's it called? Alien? Spaceman. Spaceman. Uh, Spaceman. Not Spaceman. not the doctor from Terry Ter- Ter- Rock. Not Doctor uh, Leo Spachevin. Uh, but uh, this one, with Adam Sandler is doing. Everything right with his career on Netflix. He mm. does comedy, silly comedies. He does serious, more yeah. l- l- like hearted but full of heart movies. Mm-hmm. He's like being a guru to kids everywhere on the oh great gosh. Leo. Leo and should not be that good. And now, he, and now he's uh, heck, uh, having a therapist on the, this alien life form that we mm-hmm. don't see it. Uh, but yeah, he's doing great. This mm-hmm. one looks it looks great we like yeah. the guy and and this one's like intriguing mm-hmm. and it, it seems to be more like a, 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 a what's it called castaway type of movie he's yeah. isolated he's alone mm-hmm. and we've seen big movies that do that so yeah. we hope this one is going to be the case it is rated R um, so probably a different tone from his most recent oh yeah projects um but so far he like he's batting a thousand for netflix so but, th- but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be he's gonna be joking around uh he might throw one a joke as soon as he crashed there but yeah. then when when life uh uh when ex- exile mm-hmm. life in exile becomes a reality he might get yeah. darker and darker just like they do in castaway mm. but we'll see i'm excited to, yeah. see, to see that i do look forward to it all right let's look at some hollywood business um, some potential murders or sales or something like that. Byron Murders? Allen. You said potential? Mergers. Mergers. Ah. Okay. It's like, wow. Yeah. You can know prospective mergers in Hollywood? Yeah. No, there's a whole movie about that <laughs> and why that's a bad idea. Um, no, Byron Allen is trying to buy BET from Paramount? Is yeah. That? And he's 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 uh, bidding and bidding and bidding again. Now mm-hmm. he bid uh, $3.5 billion. He really wants it. Uh, so yeah. far, unsuccessful, unsuccessfully, it mm-hmm. didn't happen. But hey, it might might happen anytime. Yeah. We'll see. It's money. People mm-hmm. want money. He wants money to give. So that's a good point. Yeah. And then also with Paramount, it looks like Warner Brothers Discovery. Yeah, on there's this whole rumor this week that WBD, Warner Brothers Discovery, mm-hmm. wants to buy, wants to merger with Paramount Global. Which, That'd be huge. yeah, I don't think necessarily a good thing though. It's uh, not necessarily, but uh, 
I, I don't know. It'd be nice to consolidate some streaming services. Yeah. But. Yeah, it would be HB, HBO and Paramount. They both have very good catalogs. They do have mm -hmm. very good productions. Paramount? Yeah. Imagine like oh, the, the whole Yellowstone, the whole Star Trek. Yeah. The whole Showtime catalog goes to HBO. Gee. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, but we'll that might keep mean, but that that. also that might mean less less productions, you know, because Paramount produces their stuff, mm -hmm. HBO produces their stuff, Warner produces their stuff. If you put all together, you, right, you, you have less because you're gonna pick and they're not gonna produce the same. Anyways, yeah. there's a discussion to come. Rumors yeah. are out, but nothing concrete yet. We come back to it when we get more updates. Okay. Um, Jonathan Majors was officially found guilty. Um, on one of his charges in the New York assault case. Yeah, officially mm -hmm. a bad guy. Disney dropped him like almost right away. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and going with that, Marvel dropped the Kang Dynasty title for the next Avengers film. Like it was supposed to be Kang Dynasty, <coughs> but now it's just Avengers 5 until they figure out what's coming next. Yeah. Potentially Doctor Doom. There's a lot of rumors that Doctor Doom would finally mm -hmm. come, especially the, uh, the Fantastic mm -hmm. Four getting yeah. uh, their own movie. Uh, but and yeah. I feel like they, it would be good <coughs> to have somebody like pretty well established and big to come in because Kang had been hyped up to be kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um. And and honestly, like I There's Kang was the most. King is like the first, really the only thing that Marvel's done since Endgame that actually had me like excited about Marvel. Um, so this is very disappointing, and I hope they're able to pick up the pieces and come up with yeah. something decent. It might uh, things might change, and it might pick him up because uh, uh, you know they did that yeah. to James Gunn, uh, and the, uh, or or they might scrap it and go to a different villain. Or also they might recast, and the internet is going crazy about recast. Mm -hmm. uh, they they have memes and, and images. Photoshop with uh, Denzel Washington as as uh, King. Yeah, I some feel like people, Denzel Washington is a dream cast for like any role. <laughs> some people, some people actor. want uh, uh, Ezra Miller to be <laughs> King. Uh, some people want That's irony. <laughs> some people want John Boyega, but John Boyega already says, "I know, no, 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 no." But uh, as soon as you see the truck load of money, it might change. I personally like to see Brian Cranston, but I like Brian Cranston on anything, so he would yeah. definitely be a terrific king. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, anything else in Jonathan Majors Marvel? Uh, well, sticking with Marvel and Disney, um, this is the first time in a decade that Disney didn't have a billion dollar hit at the box office. Yeah, and next year probably the same mm -hmm. because uh, no Marvel movies, no mm -hmm. Star Wars movies. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, Toy Story 7? Is that the release next year? I think it's I, I I don't know. I mean, I'm joking. It's not 7, but it's... The, it's closer it's to 7 <laughs> than it should be. Yeah. So, failing uh, mm -hmm. woke agenda until the show, drastically show... It's like... It's trust. Once you lose, it's really hard to, to, to get it back. And they, mm -hmm. and they lost the trust of the people that made them. And they, and they, yeah. and they, they moved on. They, and, and to get that, they're going to have to work really hard. And it's not only uh, fixing the problem. It's like almost like over-correcting, over-fixing. Mm -hmm. And that takes a lot of, of work. It takes a lot of... Uh, 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 they have to be willing to do that. They might not. Mm -hmm. They might like they might just like ah oh, we lost okay let's uh, we're not gonna make billion billion dollar movies let's make I don't know five hundred thousand mm -hmm. five hundred it's it's enough anyways we we'll see yeah we will we will um in the meantime Disney also lost a lawsuit over visual effects from Beauty and the Beast yeah in fact our judges uh, uh, determined that uh, Disney has to pay six hundred thousand dollars. I think it's mobile is a special effects company mm. that accused Disney of using their software to make some effects in the movie and, and the, the, the judge live action or the live action oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Live action. Uh, and the judge determined that yes mm -hmm. you you have to pay yeah it's like six hundred thousand dollars which even after like a rough few years for Disney they've got six hundred thousand yeah. dollars so they might appeal but again mm -hmm. uh, appealing might not mean winning uh, and it might have to pay l legal fees, yeah. lawyers. So it's probably more expensive. Yeah. So they might just hey, fine. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what we do in the shadows is ending after season six. Yeah, I hope this season's come like a season to end everything yes. because yes. that show is is awesome. And it's been a delight. Yeah, six, it's barely enough. It is like yeah, and this is one of those cases where you know how we're always saying like quit while you're ahead. It's better for a show to end while it's still good. This is like the bummer part of it. We're like ah, oh, but it's good. It's better that they yeah. end now. Well, but they still that, have good content. Actor, but like, what's his bucket? Uh, Matt Berry? Yeah, no, he's named on the other show. Oh, uh, oh, Stephen Toast. He's Stephen Toast. Yes. Oh, come on, Stephen Toast. He, he wants has to a go back. new Star Wars uh, show. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like New York City. He <laughs> wants to go back to London. Yeah. But, oh yeah, we can't wait for, for the last season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's such a great cast of characters. Um, Maya and Bialik was officially out as Jeopardy host, leaving Ken Jennings to do it solo. And interesting, interestingly, the executives blame that on the strike. Because if you remember the actor's strike, Malin, 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 Malin? Mayan. Mayan. Mayan is an actress and therefore she couldn't do the show. Oh. When Ben, ben Ken? Ken Jennings, Ken Jennings that's he's right. not an actor, he's, he's a sag, host, yeah. uh, and the show kept going with him, Interesting. so she was one, and I'm pretty sure that happened in some other instances, in mm -hmm. very different ways, or in, in, in close ways, that actors lost the job because of the strike, mm -hmm. uh, some might see the sacrifice that needed to be done, and some might say, darn yeah. it, I lost my job, and that's a job for life. Host of yeah. host of uh, Jeopardy. If, uh -huh. if they could stick to it, they would be done. Uh, yeah, uh, like it was with the previous one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's just just a tidbit of interestingly interestingness. Yeah, about the strike and about what happened to mine. Yep, um, Netflix has announced a One Piece anime remake. Yeah, it was interesting. It was like remake. Yeah, uh, why? Right. I, I don't know. I guess I, maybe, maybe they're just maybe. milking the cash cow. True. Or that, that's for sure. Maybe they want to do like a uh, tighter, shorter route. Because the, the One Piece anime has something like 900 episodes or something. Okay. And given the popularity of the live action remake, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, but... It seems... It's not like it's that old of an anime. It's not like... It might be resolution, right? Maybe they now can be doing HD and, uh, and oh, Ultra HD. Oh, like more of a remaster. You know, like the, 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 what's the Avatar animation is still mm. low resolution. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But still... But they could remaster, right? An unbelievably right? good show. But remaster, yeah, that's what yeah, I'm Yeah, but they don't just... own. They don't own. Remastering. Uh, making a new one, mm -hmm. they own. I guess so. And, yeah. But yeah, hey, it's it more, feels like kind of a money grab. It's money. It is more. It could be good. But again, it's more more One Piece content for fans. So. Um, and One Piece fans. Who are gonna say now? Nah, we don't want it. <laughs> just, yeah. I don't know. I think it's fair to be apprehensive. But the live action remake was so good. Yes. I I thoroughly enjoyed every episode. Was disappointed when we got to the end of the season. Yeah, and it was disappointing. The end of the season mm -hmm. was disappointing. So bad. Wasn't. You just said it was disappointing. I'm just like, no, I was disappointing that it ended. <laughs> that, oh my gosh. No, I really liked it. All right, last but not least, let's talk about Bob Streisand. Bob Streisand was, uh, like was going to receive uh, a SAG Achievement Award at the mm -hmm. Golden Globes. Golden Globes? Yeah. Uh, Emmys? Yeah, no, I Emmy. mean, oh shoot. You Emmys, I think. At yeah. the Emmys. Uh, well mm -hmm. deserved. She's very talented. She's 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 uh and was in like several super iconic movies. She's a au concours. Uh mm -hmm. and but of course the anti Semites are getting pissed. They want to stop that uh, because she's a Jew. So Jew hate wow. is it's it's big thing out there these days and it's affecting yeah. them. Uh Joy Coy. Joy Coy, I think is his name. He will host the uh, Emmys. Who is that? Joy Coy. He's an Asian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, comedian. He's funny. There's a movie. Oh, oh. There's okay, I think I know who I think about. it's Happy Easter. We want to watch, but I'm waiting for Easter. Mm, uh, that seems appropriate. <laughs> anyways, uh, it's a it's a family thing of of uh, what what's what's the country? Is uh Vietnam? I think is it Vietnam? Is it there's a Vietnam family in America? They mm -hmm. have their own traditions, and then during Easter they have this whole thing. It looks very fun. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. But but he's gonna uh, host the Emmys. All right. All gonna be Globes. I think it's the Emmys. No, no, geez. Yeah, no, because we were, we were we had something on there about the daytime Emmys. In January. And then we cut it out. Anyway. In January, right? Right yeah. away, you don't want to get out of the way because everything's behind because the strike. Yep. Yeah. Good old strike. Anyways. Someday we'll get through an episode without talking about the strike. That'd be nice. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Well, we, we come back next week. Mm-hmm. Going to see some Christmas movie, including some, some mm-hmm. new ones, some classics. And mm-hmm. talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about next week. We talk about Godzilla Minus One. Looks good. So excited. The show is, the show is, is, is surprisingly exciting. The, the Yeah, Monarch. Monarch. Yeah, yeah, it's been I fun. Wonder, I wonder how much we'll connect uh, because we have a new Godzilla movie coming. Mm-hmm. And we'll see about that. Yeah. Anyways, we come back to talk more about pop culture news entertainment. Uh, most likely, the next episode is going to be up after Christmas, so we can talk about Christmas, mm-hmm. Christmas movies, mm-hmm. etc. Uh, that's it. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye.